Good afternoon for the first time on F1 2017, ladies and gentlemen. You've just seen there the qualifying standings for this Monza pre-season race with the PRL Pacific League. It's a reboot, of course. It's been some 900 days since the last Pacific League race in the PRL, and it was uh, Yas Marina on F1 2014, a victory for yours truly. But now we're on to F1 2017 some three years later. It was a Ferrari front load lockout, but That's a decent start. Good job. as Jeff alludes to, we have managed to file our Sauber up into the lead. Our teammate for this season, my girlfriend, Danny Rocks, and the other Sauber, usually one of our best tracks here, as we make a little error there at La Rocha Chicane, allowing HSV through. She unfortunately didn't really get a very good representative lap in in qualifying. And this race didn't go too well for her, although she didn't really practice, so maybe that's the reason. Either way, I have a massive tussle with the Ferraris, of course, there's a Ferrari in the back of my car too. And indeed, a bit of contact, thankfully, neither of us falling off the track. And indeed, the other Ferrari right behind. So Tifosi would be happy with this sort of teamwork, I guess you could say. Uh, relative pace as well, from HSV and Murph. And in fact, that was uh, all very close. The big contact, and in fact, Merck comes from third to first in just one corner. You've got BKXI behind the Force India, his teammates, Cart Dude. That's going to be a strong team as well this season. Several strong teams, not all here for this pre season race. A couple of people signing up after this one to go for a very uh, optimistic move through uh, Ascari. Almost lose P3 there as well. We have 13 sign-ups at the time of recording this, so hopefully we'll get some more. If you continue to cut corners, the stewards will give you a penalty. You saw Merv off there. Now up to P2, trying to get that lead back. Not that this race actually matters, because there's no points available. But of course it's nice to see where you stack up before the season starts, especially the first season on a new game. We'll lose the lead back to HSV once again. But we're trying to take it back in the same place we lost it. Just enough space down the inside before Ascari. Indeed, when he took the lead, he cut the corner a bit and got a warning. Third one, and got himself a penalty. And we did not manage to do that, although we got one there. We've been awarded a time penalty. We'll go against our finishing time oh, that sucks. At the end of the race. trying to avoid the car on the outside, either way. Murphy joins the battle, and we just sneak around the left of him. HSV trying to escape. It doesn't help that I'm trying to battle here with the Murph. Force One was the car off to the side there, unfortunately ending his race. A couple of cars retired from this race. No safety car though, despite a McLaren being screwed across the exit of Ascari. We pit, as well as HSV. Go, go, go. A little bit held up there by the release. The distance of the teammate is that big because Danny unfortunately had contact and loss of wing. Down to lag we believe. We had a faster slap there but note that Squag and Murph tussling there for P3 as the undercut clearly worked for HSV and I. The uh, former there locking up into turn one and surrendering the lead back to us but he is soon on our tail and in the background you can see Murph catching up as well. We had quite a lot of defending to do on lap 20. You can see just how impatient the Ferrari is to get back past and resume the battle, or at least the lead that he had. You can see the arrows there. He's right beside us and continues to be down the front straight. Down the inside, the first chicane can't quite make it happen, but he gets good traction there. Only seven laps to go. He had his nose in front there, so a little bit laggy. Someone had a download going, I believe, so possibly won't be like this for the actual races. I really hope it's not. Either way, we've just about gone around the outside. Got a bit slow through there, trying to make the corner, and I think that caused him some wing damage. Either way, we accelerate into a victory in pre-season. Good sign ahead of Melbourne. There's still one more pre-season race to compete in, and uh, well, there's the final standings. Squag with an impressive fourth, and the first time I've seen him in a competitive race, so well done to him. Here's qualifying for Japan, who are third once again. This time the other Sauber on pole, and Ferraris are behind. 
that's cart dude to our right there. And, oh, he gets a horrible start. In fact, as I was thinking about that, the Ferrari pounces as well. So, uh, very good start in comparison to a lot of other people for HSV. BK has his wing down the inside of us as well. But either way, we maintain third. Later in the lap, we're quite far back before 130R. But look at the rate of closing speed behind HSV. The same car we were battling with quite epically in Monza. And we're pulling alongside. Similar braking point. If we can get it on the outside, we'll have the inside here though. And the move is complete. So it's now a Sauber 1-2. Well Thanks, Jeff. Now it's uh, fasting forward quite a way to lap 11. Almost time to pit. We'll see what Danny does here, probably do the opposite. We are in communication though, so we know she's going to pit. We have quite a big lead over the next car, which is obviously non Sauber, so Sauber having a fantastic effort here. We go two laps longer. In hindsight, may be a problem, because I got quite severely undercut. That's Cart Dude now jumped up into second. We get the fast lap on the way to closing down the Force India, who's on much older soft compound tyres. He had to pit very early on, perhaps wing damage, not entirely sure. Either way, wing damage is what we end up with. Here's my advice to you guys don't try a pass around the outside of 130R, especially if you get on the kerb. Obviously, I wouldn't have tried that in an actual league race. Pre season is a time to risk things. And indeed, we find ourselves having to pit for a new front wing. Uh, not sure what happened to Danielson there, but he had previously gone off, so he was recovering. We obliterate the fastest lap. Think there's a viable strategy change available to us. Would you like to keep to the current plan or try the new one? No, Jeff. I've already made one too many pit stops. Oh, we just catch that car there. We were approaching the pit window. You'll be well, we overtook Mozza. We couldn't get much further other than Cart Dude here. He was letting us back through, although it wasn't his fault. Either way, no points on offer. So, there you have it. Danny with a commanding victory. Squag with another impressive drive. He'll be a dark horse to watch out for this season. Either way, I've been Jacko. I look forward to your company for the actual race in Melbourne.